Hello and welcome. This is this is Toko Saya, and these are goal setting and accomplishment challenge class. This is module two. On this module, we'll be studying about decluttering. In the first module, we studied about detox, detoxifying, taking away the toxins. These are the foundations to fulfilling our goals, reaching our targets. One, the toxin helps us to clear away bad energy and get good energy so that we can focus and do the things that need to be done with the right spirit. Two, decluttering helps us to do so much, which we'll be discussing in this class. Welcome to class. Thank you all for joining. We remain your very home, Tokotaya. If this is the first time of meeting us, who are we? We're the crafters' companion. We are craft perennials. We work with our hands and we are digital marketers. We help you turn next to your business profit through, through Facebook, Facebook ads, and Instagram ads and complete sales, sales funnels. and automation. Welcome to class. Why did we take this challenge on? We took this challenge because we wanted to help a crop of people, including ourselves. Yes. Achieve set smart achieve, goals, achieve, winning achieve, goals, and achieve, achieve those achieve, goals. Accomplish, accomplish. The truth is that bring to life. When you see high achievers, you do not achieve in life without goals. Go and check it. There are no high achievers without goals. But because of that, all of the people actually do not accomplish their goals, they're able to achieve, they're able to move to the next level. Just because they don't know how to set goals or do not even know what to do to help them accomplish the goal. And that's why we sat down and we said we should help ourselves and a couple of other people that want to go with it. And we, like he said, we dealt with the toxin, which is the very first part. The truth is that we'll with, that weight, with weight, with weight within you, you cannot achieve your goals. You cannot. You will you, with bitterness, with hatred, we expansion a whole lot. A lot, a lot. This about that. So please get the first module and please listen to the module that where we had a whole long week of exercise detoxing because the truth is that if we don't detox, we said about our story, how we almost lost our son because we were not seeing um, toxins within us. And this is if you don't actually sit down, down and you're truthful to yourself, then you'll be able to do it. The truth is that during the challenge, we told people to speak about, speak up about what they are going through, that they need to detox, detox or they need to take away from the system. And it was fun. It was powerful. This is week two, and we'll be taking care of decluttering. Decluttering. What's decluttering? Decluttering is I'll be sharing my skin, screen. All right. Decluttering is basically getting rid of unnecessary items. Taking away, getting rid of items so as to create space for more. There's an heart and science to this old thing that we call decluttering. If you look at it, I was, I, was, I, was explaining, I was explaining this to someone. I said, clutter is, um, clutter is uh, things that, are, that do not make you see well. Decluttering is taking those things, and I explained it with a driver driving during, when it's foggy. When it's foggy, you know, you won't be able to see, you won't be able to see, you have to slow down, it slows down the journey. There are times that drivers even have to park when they're serious about time it's foggy. And this is actually what clutters do. They slow us down, they do not make us see, they, there's a whole lot. And there are times that we need to actually stop and be able to take the clutter away. Until we're able to take the clutter away, we actually might be struggling with our goals. I kid you not. I'm talking from experience. I am talking from experience. We are talking from experience. So please, on this module, we'll be talking about what is decluttering, benefit of decluttering, and how to actually declutter. So like I said, decluttering is getting rid of what you don't need so that you can have space for more. I was sending a video, I was, I was saying it earlier, I was sending a video about a lady, she did a video about clutters and how they affect one's life and how they, and when I listened to the video, I saw that the truth is that she was just saying 100% truth. Truth. 100% truth. 
A lot of times you see people think, ah, I can go on ahead, I can do this. No, we clutter you, it will slow down your journey. Just take the example of the car I just spoke about. So you need to clear the clutters. I will show you practical ways to clear the clutters. We will show you practical ways. Number one benefit of clearing clutters, like I said, it helps you see better. It helps you see better. And once you see better, you can focus more. Once you focus, there's something called the power of focus. We were listening to uh, an audio. What's the name of the audio? Remind me. That's one an of interview Napoleon. with the devil. Interview with the devil. It's an audio written by Napoleon Hill. He was talking about definiteness of purpose. That's focus of some sort. Focus. What is focus? Focus is that action that drives a nail through a wall. Is that pin to pinpoint to brick wall to force behind it. Focus is taking light and making it so powerful because it's so concentrated, so focused, it's able to cut through metal. Focus. So the clothing helps us focus if you want to focus if you want to achieve your dreams then you will need to do a you need to do a declutter declutter you need to declutter the next thing is that he gives you less stress using the analogy of a driver like i said imagine somebody driving during a matan why do you think um aircraft don't move when it's foggy it's because it's stressful and apart from being stressful it actually causes harm to it can cause harm so if you want to move with less stress, if you want to move, if you want to move with less stress, then you need to do a declutter. You need to do a declutter. You need to do a quick call. It's going to move. When you are when, when, when you are stressless, you move faster. Another thing that the declutter do it makes you more organized. It makes you more organized. When you are organized, oh, you're going to get a lot of things done. You're going to get a lot of things done. The reason why a lot of people struggle with their goods is because they have not done toxins, they have not declutter. They feel they can do so many things and it's clogging, it's actually a clog in their will. And that's why you need to take this thing seriously. As simple as you think it is, you need to, you need to do it. You need to, we're coming to practical steps, like I said, practical ways to do this thing. And that thing is that less debt. <laughs> this is quite interesting. It makes you, you know, you know, let me, let me give an example. If you're in so many WhatsApp groups where they are selling things, if you're in a hundred groups, you're in 10 groups, 20 groups where you are selling things, and somebody drops something, you're not thinking of buying it before. But because the person drops it, a nice video showing you how this product is, you're thinking, oh, I might think I will need it. So you now imagine that you decide, you decide to reduce your 20 groups to just one or two groups. Yeah, you get to see all these lovely, lovely things. Well, what's going to happen? You will see less things that will tell you, come and buy me, come and buy me, come and buy me. You'll be able to save your cash. You'll be able to invest your cash. So it helps you reduce, it helps you save your money. It helps you reduce debt. Because some people actually go in debt to get some of those things. As, as, as interesting as these things is, because you're in so many groups and you're posting so many things and things entering your eyes, you can't say no. And another thing is that it gives you financial freedom. Yes, it does. Relating it to the first example, first, the first uh, benefit I give. And another thing, it gives you more energy. When you declutter, when you take away, get rid of things that you don't need, it gives you energy. And once you have energy, you will run. Once you can run, you can achieve mm. your goals. You will achieve your goals. Um, energy makes you achieve your goals. Let me tell you another very, very interesting benefit of the cluttering. For a lot of people, the cluttering is one of the ways that they actually end up or that actually makes, that helps them to take away toxins. For example, when people go through heartbreaks, one of the things that is advised to do is to systematically and progressively, over a period of time, take items that remind you of that love situation and either throw them away or give them out. What that does is it helps you clear your mind of the clutter of the memory of that, of the bad memory of that relationship. It's giving you a teddy, 
she has given you have some nice pictures together she has given you a wristwatch all the things that attach you bond you to that emotion as you begin to take these things out and give them away or throw them away you begin to clear the clutter around you you begin to make space for love to be able to find you to be able to come to you because you are taking out those things that are holding you bound to the heart that you had. This is one of the most interesting benefits of the torturing. It is disentangling from things that are hurting. Now we've spoken about the benefit of the torturing and we're moving to the next thing, how to declutter. Here we'll be talking about taking you through practical steps, how to, and not now, on your mind you're thinking, okay, how do I declutter? Well, the very first thing you need to do to declutter is to create a decluttering list. Just sit down, just like we had our detoxing um, journal, get a book, write down the things you need to look into, the things you need to declutter. And the very first thing that you need to declutter, look into your WhatsApp groups. Some of us are in, actual, are in WhatsApp groups that they just take our space, they take our time, they take our, waste our data, and we can't focus. Imagine you having messages dropping left, right, and center. Can you imagine the disturbing, the disturbing effect it has on you? It doesn't. And as people come back from work, instead of you to go and go and face your business, you are going to have to answer messages that are just too many. Go out and get out of the groups. Any group that is not having benefits, in fact, some of them are actually are, are beneficial. But you, you know don't what? Need you don't need them at the time. They serve their purpose. Please leave the groups. Eh? Now I said I'll be sharing my story with you. I used to be in plenty, plenty WhatsApp groups. Plenty, over a hundred. Real life story, damn. And you know, at times you see forty thousand messages on red. It's easy to imagine. Imagine that. So many messages coming, blah, 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 blah. Things that I wanted to do before, but I'm no longer, I'm still in group, but I don't no longer need them. I passed that. Do you understand? They serve their purpose. I didn't leave. And you know, as God will have it, because I will say, God, as God it was for something. Um, my WhatsApp crashed December. It crashed December. And all efforts to get it back proved that I bought it. <sighs> <laughs> and as much as I felt bad, really bad, you know, and I now saw that at least my phone was able to breathe. I had less and less messages to answer. And this is some people's message. You get to the way you see ah, five thousand people like ah, what have they been saying? You know that 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 fear of missing out, more FOMO, makes you want to check. Now the time you're supposed to use generally to go and face your business and do your business. No, you want to check WhatsApp messages. So please create a decluttering list. Check Facebook groups. Groups that are not beneficial to you, please declutter. Take them. Take them. Get out of the groups. Please. Get out of the groups. It's going to help you focus. It's going to help you focus. Get out of those groups. Get the, what other things are you going to declutter? Check into your emails. Please. All subscribe from emails that are not beneficial to you. Even, the, even if they are good emails. That's what, you know, that it's not everything that is good that you need at the, at the time. Get out of this, all subscribe so that you can free up your time and space. You need to unfollow some people. Why? They are pressuring you. They're pressuring you when you come and say, this, this person, this person looks so perfect. The job, we all want to put perfect things on, the, on, on social media. And these things come out, they, 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 you scroll through, scroll through, go and unfollow people that are not blessing your life. So that you won't be seeing their posts. They won't be pressuring you. And you know, at times you get to social media. This is something I'm sharing through life story of what happens to what used to happen to me until I have to declutter and I have to set myself free. You get on social media. I you know social media now, especially Instagram, without but even Facebook, this is our scrolling. You want to go and do posts to, to sell your markets. You want to advertise. You just mm -hmm. you now go. One hour you branch. Go and unfollow people that are not, it's not, not fighting. Mm. Or you block them or you mute them. Please. Do you understand what I'm saying? Please. So please, this, this is an exercise we'll be doing on these modules. We're going to, we're going to take ourselves, we're going to give ourselves a long week, to a, a full one week to declutter. 
you need to check into your wardrobe. There are clothes that have been there, clothes that you've not worn. Please declutter, create space. You know, like we said, decluttering is actually getting rid of things so that you can create space. Please declutter. Don't hold on to things that are old clothes, old shoes. And you feel like, ah, this thing, I want to slim down. Something that you've not worn in one year, two years, three years. You still say you want to slim down. Please, you don't need it. Give it out. Give it out. It's going to even help you to give. It shows that there is, there is blessing in giving. It's going to be somebody, somebody, somebody that you give will pray for you. So it, 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 this thing, you will be shocked how it's going to make you move. Imagine that you have clothes. They could have not worn oh, for five years. And now having to scroll through in your wardrobe. Do you know you waste your time? But you know, okay, these are the things that I'm wearing. Take for instance, me. I'm somebody that I've come to realize it. And it's not bad. It's just, I just come to realize. Like, I, I don't... I didn't Let me tell you the secret. <laughs> she wears not more than two shoes per time. So if you look on her shoe rack and she has three, the third one will sit on that rack, gather dust, and might not get used in two years. Right. Now, let me now tell you, the truth is when you go, I, there was a time my husband bought me um, a good number of, sho of shoes. And you know what, what happens? I didn't think what I was there. I, was there. I don't wear them out. I wear them at home, walking, walking, checking them out of my feet. Wasting time. This is a time when they don't allow you to focus on your focus. And until you detox and declutter, you won't be able to focus on your focus. You won't have nicely written goals. You will have vision board, but you won't be able to execute. You won't be able to plan, execute the plans you have. I hope you you're getting me. So please get yourself uh, a journal. You can equally use that um, detoxing journal and declutter. Look into your wardrobe and take away clothes so that you, it, it helps you, you stop wasting time and select it and check in. Ladies, we are so guilty of these things. Makeup, please go and declutter. Grooves. You see, you that are in plenty groups, please declutter. Yes, people that mm -hmm. already have. There's a need for us to also do a lot of decluttering in our emotions. I said about this earlier. A lot of people are attached to different forms of emotions yes. that are not serving them. Yes. You are attached to people that are not serving you. You are going to places that are not serving you. Please declutter. They won't do it. Won't do Take you anything. Some of you are following out. friends. Some of that. you have family relationships that are not helping. Declutter. Declutter. Take those family relationships out. Anything that hovers around minors and divide will not help you to achieve your dream. You need to do something about that. Move it away and find a way to either make it a plus or a multiply. If you know you have friends friend, not contributing to your life, the to your goals, clutter. declutter. If you are the highest in the midst of your friend in terms of financial, the clutter. It's time to move ahead. It's if you are the move. best in your circle, that Please. circle has become a clutter to you. If so, move if so out. The purpose, if serve the you know, some, of, some people have this unnecessary attachments. This is my friend. Friends that are not serving you. What are you doing with them? Family members that won't do you good. Please declutter. Just block them. Mute them. Let, let nobody pressure you because you have something to achieve. When you are, have you seen that achievers have friends? So many people have friends. They all want to come back and be your friends. At that point, they won't get hungry with you. Do you understand what I'm saying? Please, let's, let's take on this exercise this week and look into our friends, circle of friends, relationships that are not working for you. Unnecessary, like I like how you said, unnecessary attachment. Do you know that Ubon King is one of my our mentors, did one thing for us. And this thing, I, you know, when I sit down, I'm looking at the fact that this man has gone to, before you can come out and say that, your mother, mother. Slow down. Ubon King today is a billionaire that made his money as a security guard. Yeah. He started out as a bodyguard, had issues with school, finally graduated, moved into being a bodyguard, and from being a bodyguard, built a company in security and security system management that made him a billionaire. And this guy spoke about how throughout life, especially after his father passed on, his mother made him feel less than a human being. And he came to a point in life that he had to do something. I'll tell you something about cluttering now. Somebody said something that as long as we refuse to call things 
their real name. We keep exposing ourselves to hurt. So he looked at his relationship, looked at his mother, and he looked and he said to himself, clearly, if I focus on the relationship with this woman, I will not achieve anything in life. So he did his plus, minus, divide, and multiply. And he said, this woman, even though she's my mother, she fits into the divide spot. Which means, when this person comes around me, this person takes away from me in every way. See, that is one way of people taking away from people. Some people take away from you by seemingly giving to you. Hello? Some people... They take away from you. They take you away from you. They make it impossible for you to focus by the handouts you are going to get from them. Declutter. Stop it! Declutter. Move away. You will not die. Take this one moment of your life to focus on your focus and the rest of your life will be grateful you did. Now, you're beginning, we've told you the things that actually make people not to be able to set winning goals. Winning goals. Have you seen, if you see some people, if you see a goal, you wonder, hey, is this thing not too big? But we, be, we are detoxing, we are decluttering, so that we'll be able to set, we'll be able to achieve these goals. People, some people have set big goals, but can't achieve. Some people have vision, board until, see, I love, there's somebody I know, Femi Wadoku. Femi Wadoku is so big on the energy around her. She's so big on the energy around her. And these things are things that until you see them as what they are, then you may be able to move. You actually will not be able to move. So unnecessary attachment, unnecessary, unnecessary, unnecessary things that you don't need to, please take them away. Until you can do this thing, until you do these things, my darlings, you will not be able to move. And I, if I am not, there is something you I, want to achieve in your life, and your father that you love so much sits on you and makes you feel like that thing is impossible to achieve, please be clock. Then you need to get into circles that will tell move you, move away. Move on, baby. You can do it, baby. There that is no dream you. that you are about to have now that is, that is so too big. big. No, 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 no. None. 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 Can you imagine a single man decided that the, the, the project he wanted to take on is to, go, is, to, is to create space station, is to go to the moon. That, the size of that dream was a major failure. That major failure produced a success eh, that is threatening the biggest car companies in the world. When he failed at that dream, at that dream, Mercedes-Benz became scared because the failure of that dream produced a success. Tesla, that is changing the face of cars and driving in the world. That's the failure of that dream, that is failure, produced a new level of oppression for the whole of mankind. There is no dream you're about to have that is too big. So if you are presently in circles that do not serve you, please leave. And that's why we have created the um, accomplishments. It's not a challenge now. It's an um, it's a, a accountability group where we'll be holding you, people that are interested, that wants to be accountable, that are looking for a good, community. Yes, where you want good vibes, an energy, association where people will celebrate you. When, a place when, when you move steps, they applaud you and tell you you can go. When you can bring more. big goals and there won't be people shouting you down. We're opening up our accountability group for the people that will take. It will be share, we'll be telling you more details in the next class. But open our accountability group. We've come this to say group that will handle things on a personal level. Yes, we work with you one on one. You'll be working with two people at the same time, and definitely you will not be paying the price of two people. Yes, that's the, that's the fun side of it. That's the fun side. You work with two You'll people. You'll have a male <laughs> and a female to balance you. It means you will have the logic and the emotions that you need to take on your challenges and win in life. We'll be working with you on a monthly basis as per what you choose. And for that 30 days, we will help you pick one goal and help you smash that one goal. What will this bring to you? 
if you take on this opportunity, we will be spending time together at first to look into your goals and making sure that they are best fit for success. We will be working on making sure that your goals are smart and smarter. We will also work with you to make sure that you do not take any excuse until you achieve your goals. So your assignment for this week is that you pick a journal, make a list, a checklist of the things you want to decode, and per day begin to decode. Check them out. Check your WhatsApp group, your Facebook group, your email. Check into your circle and decode. See you on the other side. Thank you for joining us. We really love you. Really appreciate you. Our face, what sharp is? Really love you. Really appreciate you. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you in the group where you'll be decluttering and we'll be having this training again next week, Monday morning. No, Monday evening, same time. Monday evening, 9 p.m. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much for joining. Please, we this want is you our to, face. We want you to <laughs> watch the running. Yeah. Yes, our face. So I looking very different today. Let me see. different. <laughs> Excuse me. Our student did this, our makeup student. You know what we are craft friends? We have a craft school where we teach people on different crafts. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. And and we have, we have. to keep it. Come and show you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for joining. Thank you so much for joining. And that's it on the decluttering class. Wonderful to have you with us. Wonderful to have you join us. And so we, we come your way you. again. Sokotaya, we love you. Let's go. go.